Beethoven, Mozart, Elgar, Tchaikovsky. These are names that resonate through history. People whose heads were full of musical ideas and who somehow managed to turn their ideas into music that's been performed by people all around the world for hundreds of years. But where do composers get their ideas from? And how do they transform these from thoughts bouncing around inside their minds to music that others can perform? Handily, we've got someone to ask. Hello, I'm Hannah Kendall and I'm a composer. I tend to get my ideas from poetry and literature and stories um, because I find that those words are able to conjure great ideas and um, really cool atmospheres. Books, words, stories. One of Hannah's most recent pieces of music was based on poems by Richard Watkins. I take the words and then I create a graphic score. So for example, um, one of his poems is called Peace and um, through the words he creates just a really great sense of calm. And so I started off by creating a graphic score with really gentle, um, really soft lines. And so when it came to writing the music, um, I knew exactly which instruments would be creating that sense and how. From these lines, shapes and colours, the framework of how the piece of music should feel is set in place. Next, it's time for the notes. I sit at the piano and choose all of the chords that I like and um, which I think will best reflect how I want the music to sound. And so it's just very simply going through a set of chords and if I like it, I'll choose it and if not, I'll throw it away. It's actually quite nice. The chords Hannah picks set the harmony of the music. The harmony is like building the walls in a house, but not yet having decided how to decorate them. The melody, the paint for our wall, or the tune of the music, is what comes next. I will pick different motifs or you know different phrases that I think will work really well and then just somehow it develops and just becomes a piece of music. Um, just trying things out, um, getting rid of them if it doesn't work, um, but hopefully most of the ideas will stick. So Hannah now has her piece of music written down. The music is printed and put in front of the musicians, ready to be performed for the very first time. What's it like hearing your music come to life? I know exactly how it might sound inside my head, but um, it can be really difficult because um, no one else knows what I can hear. So even though I've tried my best to translate it through the music, it can sound different, which is really nerve wracking. But that's also really exciting because it's someone else interpreting your music. And so that means that my music just has this incredible life, this ever-changing life, which is really amazing.